the last two days have seen business in Soroti City brought to a near halt following successful nomination of candidates for Soroti East by elections. Crowds have been growing. Supporters have been energized as successfully nominated candidates hope for victory. This has however come with some reported pockets of violence with candidates accusing each other of intimidation. Ministers campaigning in this region must pack the government vehicles. Taxpayers' money, government resources must not be used here in the guidelines that guide this election. We will not accept a minister to camp here on taxpayers' fuel. No. I am used to Mr. Tans being a crybaby and a little one. I don't know why he's not in a nursery school, because he's done this in 2016, he's done, he did it in 2021, he's doing it again. I use my personal vehicles. I, indeed, I am not short of transport logistics. I have resources and as far as that is concerned. We will not accept government vehicles. No vehicle will move in this constituency with the number plates covered. We have put that call to security. I have several friends who have loads of mobility. I do not have to use a government vehicle. I resigned my office on the 1st of July when I was aware that I was coming for elections. However, to ensure maintenance of harmony during the campaign period, Electoral Commission has met with candidates to harmonize on the campaign program. Even if you tear a post of Ariko or Atan, they know him. You are doing nothing. These people were here in generations. It is just a matter of, even if we go for polls now, they know you and him. As you realize when you read your campaign guidelines, this time we are going to be very strict. When you look at it, it has a fine and also imprisonment somewhere there. NRM's Herbert Ariko was represented as FDC's Moses Atan was present. Guidelines were shared and campaign schedules were adopted. Candidates and their agents are called upon to abide by the electoral rules. Atan was in the parliament, Ariko was in the parliament. The rules we are following, the laws we are going to enforce were put in place by you. We are encouraging non-sectarian campaigns. We are saying no to the use of government resources like the vehicles, defacement of uh, posters of other candidates, and uh, the abusive languages. We do not want some of these things. Expected in the course of the campaigns is NRM National Party Chairman, also Uganda's President, General Yoweri Museveni. Temporarily, we have received the communication that he will come on 25th. And when he comes here, a few days, 25th, we shall be able to give details of uh, where he will be having a rally. Our people shouldn't be worried uh, because the president can be in Soloti as a head of state, but at the same time, he can be here as a party chairperson. <laughs> Campaigns are programmed to end on 26th July 2021, two days to elections slated for 28th July of this same year. Henry Okrut, UBC.